Hello everyone and welcome to English Fluency Channel, the place for all things English fluency. Here, you'll find a range of videos designed to help you improve your English speaking and writing skills. Whether you're looking for tips on pronunciation or grammar, this channel will provide guidance that will help make learning English easier. With regular updates full of helpful hints and strategies, this is the perfect resource for anyone striving for better English fluency. So guys, join me now and let's get started on your journey towards clear English communication in no time at all. Alrighty, for today's episode, we will talk on idiomatic expressions that are commonly used. For English learners, understanding and using idiomatic expressions can be a great way to improve fluency and sound more natural when speaking. Idiomatic expressions are phrases or sayings that have a figurative meaning which is different from their literal meaning. Learning these can help you better understand native speakers, express yourself in more creative ways, and even impress those around you with your command of the language. In this episode, we'll explore some idioms that you can use in your daily conversations. Alrighty, so let's start right in. Our first idiomatic expression for this episode is, It's time to start the day with a clean slate. This means that it is time to forget about past failures and begin anew. Now, for us to fully understand this, let's try to use it in a sentence. Okay, so here is the example. It's time to start the day with a clean slate. No mistakes from yesterday will be carried over. Let's take this opportunity to set positive intentions for the rest of the day and make it our best one yet. That's it. That's the first one. Now for our second expression. Time flies when you're having fun. This means that the hours seem to pass quickly when one is enjoying oneself. And to use it in a sentence, here we go. Time flies when you're having fun. So make sure to enjoy every moment. Now for our number three idiomatic expression for this episode, we have the early bird catches the worm. This means that those who wake up and get an early start on their day will be more successful than those who do not. And now to use it in a sentence, here we go. Getting up earlier than usual is usually beneficial. After all, the early bird catches the worm. And that's how you're going to use it in a sentence. And now for our fourth idiomatic expression for this episode. Strike while the iron is hot. This phrase encourages people to take advantage of opportunities as soon as they arise, rather than waiting too long or missing out entirely. And to use it in a sentence, here it is. It's important to strike while the iron is hot in order to make the most of an opportunity. And now for our next expression. You snooze, you lose. This phrase implies that if one does not take advantage of an opportunity, someone else will and they will be the one to reap the benefits. And to use it in a sentence, don't be complacent and procrastinate if you want to succeed. You snooze, you lose. So there you go, guys. If an opportunity presents itself in your way, do not hesitate to take action or else you will be missing out entirely. So this is what it is all about, okay? And for our next expression, time is money. This proverb suggests that time should be valued and used wisely as it can lead to financial gain. And here's an example how to use it in a sentence. If you want to be successful, remember that time is money and use it wisely. And now for our next expression, 
Don't let the sun go down on your anger. This idiom means that it is important not to hold on to grudges or feelings of anger when disagreements arise. Try to resolve them before bedtime. And to use it in a sentence, here's an example. Don't let the sun go down on your anger as it's important to forgive and move on. And I must admit that this expression is easier said than done. It is hard to let go when you are very angry and, you know, it's so hard to sleep in the night when you're angry too. But anyway, so let's try to strive hard to forget and forgive those who wronged us and it's easy for us to just let go earlier instead of holding it down because it literally affects the way how we see things. And for our next expression, we have, It's always darkest before dawn. This phrase encourages people who are going through a difficult period in their lives by reminding them that things may seem bad now, but will eventually get better. And to use it in a sentence, here we go. It's always darkest before the dawn, so don't give up hope even when things seem bleakest. And now for our next expression, don't watch the clock. This idiom suggests that one should focus on their work and not be distracted by how long it is taking or when they will finish. To give us an example how to use it, here it is. I know it's hard to focus, but try not to watch the clock. Just do your best and don't worry about time. Right, so a lot of people, when they don't love what they're doing, they're just watching the clock as on when is the time that they will be finished. You know, it's sad, but reality is if you really love what you're doing, you don't watch for the clock. You don't watch for the time. You just do what you have to do because, you know, you love what you're doing. All righty, people? I hope you get some nuggets of wisdom on this one. All right. And now for the last idiomatic expression for this episode, time heals all wounds. This proverb implies that even though something may seem unbearable in the present, eventually the pain of it will pass with time. And to use it, here's an example. Time heals all wounds, so it is important to be patient with yourself and allow the healing process to take its course. With a little bit of patience and understanding, you can overcome any obstacle that life throws at you. Again, this one, it is easier said than done, but there is truth to this. No matter how bad you feel at this moment, the intensity of your pain will lessen as time goes by. And that's the fact. All right. Okay, so we just finished the 10 idiomatic expressions for this episode. So remember, guys, that learning English idiomatic expressions is an important part of mastering the language. It helps to expand one's vocabulary and can add more depth to conversations and with practice, learning these expressions becomes easier and they become a natural part of communication. Knowing them well can help make conversations sound more natural and interesting. Alrighty, people, we hope that we gave you another valuable lessons to take with you in your journey to, to the mastery of the English language. Someone said that, the beautiful thing about learning is nobody can take it away from you. So, therefore, people, let's continue moving forward and upward. So now it's time for us to end up this episode. So once again, thank you for keeping us company, my delightful English family. I love you guys. Stay safe. God bless us all. Enjoy the rest of the day. Until next time. And peace out. And please don't forget to... Press the like button, subscribe, and share the video if you like our contents. Thank you and bye.